So one of my students asked if I could make the shop not be randomized. Let me show you. So I've created an example scene right here with only the shop, the data manager and the shop manager. And for the moment, if you want to purchase a skin, it's random. So let me add some coins by pressing F. It's just a test here. I can purchase a random skin. And that specific student asked me if I could make a video or show him how to allow the player to select the skin he wants to unlock. So this is what we are going to do in this video. All right. So first off, we are going to open the shop manager like so. Perfect. And I'm going to go to the configure buttons method. OK, so when looking at this method, you can notice that we are adding the listener right here to the skin buttons. So instead of adding the select skin method as a callback to that event, we are going to add another method. So let's create it. It's going to be a private method void. Um, let's say skin button clicked callback. And I'm also going to add an integer as an argument, which is going to be the skin index. So the index of the skin button we've selected. OK, so I'm going to copy this method and drop it here. This is the one we are going to call. All right. Perfect. After that, we want to check if the button we clicked is unlocked, unlocked or not. So if the skin buttons with the index skin index is unlocked. OK, so if you remember, well, there is a method in the skin button script that returns if the button is unlocked, if the skin is unlocked or not. OK, so let's go back to the shop manager. If the skin button is unlocked, then we want to select the current skin. OK, so for now, there is no change. OK. Otherwise, so else, what do we want to do? If the skin is locked, then we want to first off enable the purchase button. OK, so right here we can also disable the purchase button. So let's say here we are select the skin. All right, perfect. Here we want to disable the purchase button. So we can say purchase button dot interactable equals false. We just change the interactability of the purchase button. OK, so right here we want to enable the purchase button. Like so. Perfect. We also want to change the price text that we have right here. OK, let's wait for Unity to compile. Perfect. We also want to change the price right here with the price of the current skin we've selected. OK. So for that, we might need an array of prices. So yeah, let's add this array right now. So I'm going to go to the top of the script right here, let's say. So instead of having a single skin price, what we can do is convert the integer to an integer array and rename it skin prices. All right. So we are going to get a bunch of errors. Right here, we can initialize the price text to a blank string like so. Perfect. Let's go down to the next error. So here we are using the coins. OK, when purchasing the skin. So what we can do here is pass in the price of the skin we've purchased. So it's going to be skin prices with an index that we need to specify. OK, so what we can do is whenever we click on a skin button, we can save this index right here that we've clicked on. Let's create a new variable for that. So it's going to be a private integer selected locked, let's say, skin button. I'm really bad at choosing names. You know that. So let's grab this guy and I'm going to set it to skin index right here. So we are just storing the clicked skin button index. OK, perfect. So right here, when calling the purchase skin method, we can pass in the selected locked skin button right here. All right. 
uh, we also need to update the purchase button so right here we can say skin prices with the selected locked skin button like we've done right here perfect so if you remember well here in the purchase skin method we grabbed a random skin so we can just remove these lines because we are not using randomization here so skin button random skin button i can rename this by pressing ctrl r twice so let's call it skin button perfect right here i can call skin buttons with index skin button uh, locked i think it was locked yeah selected locked skin button perfect so this is the skin button we want to unlock okay perfect so now one thing we need to add is change the price text to the skin price we've selected okay like so so let's say skin uh, price text sorry dot text equals skin prices with index skin index so the one we've selected equals oh sorry uh, dot two string like so perfect and by the way we can also set the price text here to a blank string because the purchase button won't be interactable okay all right let's jump back to unity and have a look at what we've done so far so right here i'm going to expand the skin prices array and let's say that i will have nine values so the first one is going to be something like 100 coins 200 for the second one and so on okay perfect so let's hit play okay so first off we've got a small issue right here because the purchase button is interactable i don't want it to be interactable okay so now i can't select the other buttons the locked ones so that's bad so what we can do right here is open the skin button script okay so let's grab one of these all right perfect the first skin button should be interactable by the way I'm going to open the skin button script and right here when locking the skin button I can just comment this line that way the button won't be set to not interactable okay it's always going to be interactable nice okay let's now hit play perfect all of the buttons are interactable nice I can see their prices all right but even though I don't have enough money the button is still interactable so we need to change that okay and we can see that the select outline is not changed yet all right so let's fix that i'm going to open the shop manager script again and what we can do is also update the purchase button right here so this should fix our issue okay so let's clear the preferences all right let's hit play I'm going to select a skin okay I can't purchase because I don't have enough money right here so let's press F a bunch of time 460 coins all right so I can purchase this one nice okay seems to be working now okay cool so I just need to move this selected outline right here this orange outline to the skin button we've clicked so let's do that let's go back here have a look at the select skin method and he, right here we are calling the select method from the skin button so this is exactly what we are going to do so after setting the price text we can call skin buttons with the skin index index dot select all right but here we deselect all of the other ones so we can grab this loop right here and maybe we should set it in a separate method just to avoid redundant code so let's hit ctrl x private void uh, select skin button with a specific skin index all right let's pass this in all right like so perfect now we can call it from here and we can also call it from here nice let's jump back to unity and have a look let's hit play all right perfect now the outline is moving guys so let me press f a bunch of times to grab some coins nice so this one is 300 let me purchase this one okay cool seems to be working 
okay let me have some coins again let me purchase this one okay i can also try this one okay let's try and purchase all of them okay let me purchase this one too nice let me quit and come back okay the purchase button is interactable right here this is not good so let's again fix the update purchase button method so if we've got enough money okay we should also check if the skin button is locked or not so we can say this or skin buttons with index uh which one is it Oh, we can also yeah check if the skin buttons with the selected lock skin button because the default value of this variable is zero so if all of the skins are unlocked it's still gonna be zero so it's gonna check if we've got enough money to purchase the first skin and of course we do so it's gonna set the interactability of the purchase button to true okay so here we want to check if the skin buttons with this index dot is unlocked all right perfect so now let's jump back to unity let's hit play and the purchase button should not be interactable awesome nice even though we have enough money actually cool and yeah that's it i hope that the student that asked the question got his response if you want to know more about this course, you are free to enroll. You'll find a link in the description. And for more videos of this kind, make sure to subscribe and like the video. Thanks for watching. Have a nice day. Bye.